want to talk to you next about what I call emotional addiction. Okay. Um, there's several criteria, in it, and you can take the assessment like the others on the website. But uh, this is a person that generally bases their social or personal professional activities on their, either their positive or their negative emotions. Uh, one of the things we say in counseling and recovery is uh, emotions are real, but not always reality. And, and for a person struggling with an emotional addiction, uh, they are dictated by their emotions. Okay. Um, they get stuck in being offended, which if you've not listened to that video, check that out, the addiction to being offended. They're very much into the accused, blame, criticize, the ABCs. They have a very difficult time with the word no, meaning um, someone, their spouse or loved one tells them no. They do not like that. They will fight tooth and nail to get their way. They have a very difficult time with the word no. Now, next is they, even after being given factual information, they refuse to accept it because it does not agree with their emotional reality. So that's a very big one for uh, the emotional addict. Next, uh, they're good starters, but not good finishers because they start feeling better, if you will, uh, and then they stop, such as uh, coming to counseling or going to previous counselors. Um, they start feeling better. Hey, I'm, I'm good. My feelings are better. Therefore, I'm better. Uh, next, they eat to medicate their emotions. They might have a, a actual a food addiction, but they medicate uh, with food. Next, they believe uh, they have suffered uh, emotional, and I'll, I'll quote here, abuse. And they use this word abuse um, probably a little in excess. Now, I'm not here to minimize emotional abuse. It can be uh, a real thing, but generally, it's more oftentimes than not exaggerated um, how it's used and how they're feeling their partner's emotions. Uh, the partner um, is not at all being emotionally abusive, but the reality of the emotional addict is um, it is abusive. Um, also tied to the, to the word no, or it can also be tied around money oftentimes, um, what, how, and uh, the money can or cannot be spent or budgeting and these types of things. Um, next, they use their emotions as a truth detector or uh, a polygraph even that um, their spouse or the loved one may be saying, telling them the truth, but being that it doesn't tie in or um, fall in line with their emotional reality, um, they believe their loved one is lying to them. And uh, so check it out, take the assessment for yourself or your loved one and uh, see how you score and uh, let us know if there's anything else. Um, there's also some blogs out there with any of these videos. There's also blogs or if not several blogs that follow, follow uh, the video and will help you go into deeper uh, understanding of these types of addictions and assessments.